Hey guys, did you know there's a tasty new app out there? I'm talking about the Test Tube app, which allows you to make playlists, comment, all sorts of stuff. So check it out in the App Store today and get test tubing. Oh, I was totally about to tell you something about sleep and the importance of, oh, I don't know, something about sleep and weight gain and memory and, ugh. Your brain uses more energy than any other organ in your body, 20% in fact. You know those maps showing the world's energy consumption? Well, your noggin would rank right up there with the US and China. This, my friend, is why we must slumber. But if you need more reasons, here are five solid ones. First, not sleeping could mess with your weight. There are two hormones that help maintain your appetite, leptin and ghrelin, and they both suppress and ramp up during the night and day. If you don't get enough shut-eye, you have too much leptin in the system, slowing down your metabolism, and too much ghrelin, telling you that you're hungry, maybe even hangry. Second, a lack of sleep could cause high blood pressure. Think of your ticker working hard all day, pumping blood to and fro. Now when your head hits the pillow, your heart gets a rest too, with less demand to pump blood throughout your body. But a chronic loss of sleep means your heart muscles can become fatigued, leading to an increase in blood pressure or possible thickening of the heart muscles. Third, inflammation abounds in the sleepless. Suffer from headaches, irritable bowel syndrome, or are you healing from the injury? Grabbing less than seven hours of sleep can actually increase pro-inflammatory markers in the blood. Moreover, people who sleep fewer than seven hours a night have a higher risk of diabetes. Now, researchers at the University of Chicago have found that losing just three to four hours of sleep over a period of several days is enough to trigger a metabolic change that is consistent with a pre-diabetic state. Fourth, your memory could falter. During sleep, the hippocampus, that's the part of your brain that consolidates memories, replays the events of the day for the neocortex, where it reviews and processes memories helping them to last for the long term. So a loss of sleep not only hinders the creation of new memories, but it can also impair basic cognitive function, making memory retrieval difficult and reaction times slow. Fifth, you could have some toxic byproducts building up in your brain. Now, just like the lymphatic system ushers away toxic waste in the muscle tissues after you exercise, the brain does a similar thing, but only when you are asleep. The brain creates a lot of these toxic byproducts like the protein beta amyloid, which is associated with Alzheimer's, by the way, but it can only rid itself of it through the night janitor. You see, brain cells shrink at night, allowing that night janitor to get in and hose down the works with cerebrospinal fluid, which purges the gunk from your brain, making it that much more important to grab some badly needed Z's. Okay, you say that you want to improve your brain during its waking hours? Well, just check out this video, The Memory Palace, a place with all sorts of funhouse weirdo images that will actually make you into a memory champ. For more videos like these, podcasts, blogs, and pictures of fully clothed naked men, make sure you check out stufftoblowyourmind.com.